Okay, that's Matt Eberflus talking about Justin Fields. We welcome in our coach, Dave Wanstead, to the show. Coach, you said something in the hallway that I think is really important. And it's like, how do you go about developing a quarterback? It seems like some of the things that the Bears have asked Justin to do in these first two games kind of go away from what they were doing at the end of last year. How do you marry that back? Yeah, and, and there's a lot that goes into success with a quarterback. Uh, offensive line play, receiver help, and defense. Let's not lose sight of that. That all contributes to how well a quarterback plays. I, I was at the Dolphins when Tom Brady began his career. Had one, they had one of the top five defenses. They were committed to the run game, running back run. Uh, and, and they had some good receivers back then, okay? My point is this, that we have gotten better at the receivers. We got some good backs, Lawrence. I was impressed with the backs. We're still not giving them enough help defensively. When you don't come up with any turnovers, that doesn't help your offense with field position enough, and it doesn't give your quarterback a chance. And the offensive line, for whatever reason, it's just turned upside down because of some injuries, some personal reasons, and so forth. With that being said, the first thing that you do is you look at your quarterback and says, what can you do best, Lawrence? Okay, I can run. I can break tackles. I can run this. And that's got to be the st – I'm just referencing you. Don't lose I mean, your head. It's true. Don't, don't you get too excited. <laughs> but, so this is what the guy does best. So you got to make sure that that's the top couple things in your game plan, in my opinion. And then you move on, yeah, to the drop back pass and so forth. But they were only in third down and five or less three times the whole game which means it was third and eight, third and nine, third and 10, third and 10, third and 23, third and 13. I went through them all this morning again. You got no chance in those situations. I don't care who you are. So my point is we got to do what we have to do with Justin on first and second down to make, to make a chance, to have a reasonable chance to convert third down. It's not, it ain't going to happen having three third downs with five yards or less. Obviously, because things have not gone well for the Bears offense and Justin Fields, a lot of people have put out a bunch of different videos. One of the videos that's yeah. out this weekend is how much time he's spending in the pocket. What are you seeing when you see those breakdowns of, of what Justin is surveying and how can he speed that clock up in his head? You know, we, we saw three plays this morning that were on a timer and they were three and a half seconds, four and a something seconds, and five seconds. I mean... And when you looked at those plays from the back, uh, there were guys open. There were guys open, but their windows are going to be tight. I mean, you're going to have to throw the football in tight windows in the NFL. You, it's, guys aren't going to break open for five yards like they did, unfortunately, at Ohio State very often. You know what I mean? So you got to throw the ball. you got to be precise in tight windows. That's way too – I mean, every quarterback would love to have three, four, five seconds. You know, I mean, I always thought – I told our quarterback, in fact, early in my days here when, when it was Reggie White coming after us and Sean Jones and John Randall, I mean, these, these were the, the, the guys – Guys that were getting up the field, coach, causing havoc. Getting after the field, two and a half seconds. And, and we had a little timer box there, and we set it on automatic. When our quarterback dropped back, when Eric Kramer dropped back to throw the ball, the buzzer went off in two and a half seconds. And, and the first couple of times, he, he's looking around like, w what was that? I said, that was Reggie White hitting you right in the mouth. That's what it was. You know, and you got hit in the mouth back in those days. No doubt. Right? So my point is that you got to, that, that I would do something, and you don't need the timer thing, but behind there, quarterback coach Andrew Janoco balls out but you know something needs to go off in his mind on how much time he has to get rid of the football and if it's not there you know the thing that shocked me I never thought I'd see a day where Justin Fields runs for what three yards three yards at the end of the day how does that happen I mean you know so now he's holding the ball so long he wants to throw it down the field everybody wants him to throw it down the field and now he's not running and scrambling and making plays. Baker Mayfield did it and made plays. So I, I just think right now we gotta we gotta take a step back and say, listen, you know, we're, we're gonna put you in better shape in third down and more reasonable. And by the way, third down and five, we hit DJ Moore for a first down. Third down and two and third down and two, we handed the ball off to Herbert and ran for two yards and got first downs. 
So we, we can make those and, and keep this change moving, but we, we got to get Justin back to doing what he can do best and then mix in the down the field passes. Do you feel like, uh, well, we were discussing this on the radio earlier today, like in a situation, you brought it up, Coach, and DJ Moore's out there clapping, he's raising his hands, he's, yeah. he's trying to say, I'm, I'm open. Do you think that getting that type of feedback where DJ Moore can, can go to Justin and say, look, look, look at this, like, let's watch film together, here's where I'm open. Do you think having a veteran wide receiver now in that room who's had success can maybe speed the process along for Justin where maybe they can get on the same page on what they're seeing. Absolutely. I mean, great point there, Lawrence. I'm going to give you another story. You, you kind of stir up stories of mine. We signed Lewis Tillman for our viewers, okay? You may know he was a really good running back for the New York Giants, won Super Bowls up there with Bill Parcells. He comes with us in the Bears. He goes out of the backfield, and the first play, everybody hears, and it was kind of comical. And he came back. I said, Lewis, what are you doing? And he says, oh, he says, uh, Phil Sims and Coach Parcells, when I was open on any route, our receivers, we would clap. So if Phil was looking, he knew we were open. We'd come right back to him. So what DJ Moore did, he was alerting Justin that, hey, I'm here, I'm open. You know, now the ball wasn't thrown. The second one that I saw DJ Moore show some frustration was the third down, and it might have been 13, and, and Justin's waiting for the down-the-field routes. And DJ had an out pattern. It wasn't 13 yards. It was probably 10. And Justin waited on the deep route and got sacked. And, and in that case, you know what you do? You throw the out. Here comes the pressure. You're not comfortable throwing that? Throw the out. Let your athlete make a play. Thank you. Thank you. Let the guys make, get the ball in his hand. We've seen what he can do with the football in his hand. So that didn't happen either. I think there were some, even in those long yardage situations, there were some throws that, you know, get the ball in and, and we got speed. We got good athletes. Let them be playmakers. How hard are things right now for Matt Eberflus? Well, you know, they're, they're, he's calling the defenses now, so he's working with a the situation there. Uh, yeah, we, we, we know what we want to do defensively. I'll tell you what was frustrating defensively. We had some opportunities. There were balls on the ground. And we didn't come up with them. Interception by Interception. Brisker. Interception. We don't it. come up with them. Sacks. Two or three times. We hit Baker Mayfield, and we all saw it. Spun off him. He spins out, Lawrence, you're correct, and gets away from him. So we had opportunities defensively to make plays, and we didn't make them. You know, so that would frustrate me as a head coach if I'm, if I'm Matt right now. And then the other thing, too, is we got to go in and close the door and we got to we got to decide what our identity is on offense mm. you know last year everybody he he ha ha we lead the league in rushing if we had a little better defense and a little better receivers who knows how many games we would have won but no you know that was justin was just a runner we got we got to go back to finding an identity and come out this week if we're going to have any chance at all to win. Daunting task to go up against Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey yeah. and Chris Jones on the defensive side for Kansas City. What, if anything, would you suggest for the Bears as they try to get ready for that? I, I would play a, that bubble coverage. I would play a four cross where we're not going to let guys run by us and we're going we're gonna to play high to low, meaning that Patrick Mahomes is going to have to throw the underneath throw and not knock us out. But he's going to have to be patient. When Sometimes when teams play that, he gets antsy. This is at home. He's going to be gunned up. He just signed a, a multi-million dollar contract, you know, more than I can add. Re and restructure for $216 million over the next three years. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah, it's pretty good. Huh? Yeah, biggest one ever. So, you know, is he going to be patient? He's going to want to throw the home run. So I would play a softer coverage and make him throw it underneath. See if he'll do it. You know, because if you get up and press him, he will throw the home run on you. And, and we don't, we can't get in that matchup. And we got to run the ball. We got to shorten the game a little bit. Which means, when I say run the ball, I'm not just talking about the running backs. I was impressed with our running back, Justin Herbert. He didn't get that many carries. Five yards a carry. Rashawn Johnson. I love the kid. He runs hard. Give him the ball. And you add the quarterback runs. So you do those things. We got to take the air out of the football a little bit, shorten the game, and then defensively not give up the big play. Our coach is still trying to figure out ways to give this Bears team a win. 
Big thanks to Dave Wanstead for all the fine work that he does here at NBC Sports Chicago. Thanks for being on Football Night in Chicago. You're the best.